Hey guys, welcome to Lex Listens. If you're new here, my name is Alexa, and today we are doing another K-pop reaction. Of course, what else? Today we are reacting to V's album, Layover. I am so excited to hear all of the songs. There's only five, I believe, but I... I'm very excited to see, like, I, I feel like the vibes of the first two songs that I've heard, which are Rainy Days and Love Me Again, are so him, and that's part of the reason why I'm so excited to hear this album as a whole. Also, the two songs I have heard, yes, I did, like, hear them, listen to them, but I have not read the lyrics very well. Obviously, like, the English part's easy enough to translate. I can get the vibe of the song, but seeing the lyrics like actually broken down for me is just a way better way for me to understand the song. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. One thing I do want to mention quickly is that the full pretty much uncut album reaction will be on my Patreon. If you're interested, it's always linked in the description below. So feel free to check it out. But without further ado, we're going to start with the first track, Rainy Days. <laughs> You know, something I wasn't thinking about when I um, reacted to this is what order the songs were in on this album. This is actually, it's a song that I was kind of not vibing with, but as an intro song, might feel a little bit differently. As an intro song, I kind of vibe with it, honestly. It's still not my favorite song, don't get me wrong. It's not one, like if I heard it, I'd definitely listen to it. However, like turning it on all the time is not for me. But like for some reason it puts you in a state of mind. Like I'm imagining like I'm in this like penthouse apartment. I decide to turn on my record player. I put this song on the record player. It's raining outside and I'm like, man, like... What we used to have was so good. Like, how how could we ever get back to that? And it's just raining. That's like, it sets the tone for the album really, really well. Obviously, I haven't heard the other songs in the album yet, but it's really doing a good job setting, like, the scenery, even, like, just as a song, you know? It's, it's kind of changing my feelings on the song a little bit. Like, I was kind of not vibing with it, but now I'm kind of like, you know what? I respect it a lot more than I did before. Interesting. Rainy days, I'm thinking about you. What to say? We're shining hard to find the way right back to you. On rainy days, like. Man, it's just so vibey. Okay. Rainy days. As I said, it won't ever be my favorite song. However, as an album opener, I really respect it. I really like it as an album opener. Um, next, we're gonna check out a new song. We're gonna check out Blue. This is reminding me of Blue and Gray, but I feel like it's not gonna have the same vibe. Ooh. Ooh. 
trying, as the song's going on, I'm trying to, like, figure out my feelings on it. I don't mean it in a negative way. It's just, like, they're... I kind of like the production, even though it threw me for a loop to begin with. The lyrics are pretty good. It's more so I just am not a huge fan of, like, repetitive, like, melodies or choruses to a certain extent. But... I still kind of like it because I feel like it suits his voice really well and it's bringing out like that like deep like sultry sexy type of voice that he has you know it's really well suited to him so I like I feel like I have low-key mixed feelings about it because you know I just am going back and forth a little bit in my head but like I kind of like it because it suits him really well you know so I mean let's just keep listening I'm not trying to interrupt like the last five seconds of the song but like i'm just really conflicted on it as a whole for some reason because it's kind of sexy you know oh, no, no. Mm. interesting 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 i feel like i'm intrigued to see the visuals for it I feel like the visuals will help me decide whether I'm like for it or neutral. <laughs> Cause part of me feels like I'm a little more neutral on it, but I really like how his voice sounds on it. Like it, it, it is really well suited to his like vocal tone. We'll, we'll come back later in my life and let you know how I like it. Just, just pay, pay attention to my channel. Eventually one day I'll bring it up and tell you how I like it in the future. After I watch the music video for this, I will definitely give my opinion, so don't worry. Next is Love Me Again. I am in love with the song. I love the song so much, especially like the, the, the fast part. I'll point it out, you know? Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> This is so far my favorite song of the album, but I haven't heard the other two, so. This part. so freaking good i just love it i can't explain the reasonings why i think it's something about the melody something about the how it speeds up and slows down but also something about like the like it like the production of it like kind of like hits me where i'm like ooh, i like to vibe to this like you know it's just my favorite so far we still have two more songs left though so we don't know if it's going to be my overall favorite yet Without further ado, let's get into slow dancing. I'm excited. So much English.
into like the interlude. Interesting. So I feel like he's really into like the musical or production interlude vibe because it seems like almost all of his songs have like a point where it's just music for like an extended period of time. Overall, I like it. Maybe it'll grow on me. I feel like I should have prefaced this reaction with saying like, I love all music. However, like certain styles are not my vibe and like V style is not like necessarily like my vibe. If you put it like, if you put my vibe in a box, like he's like outside of my box. Um, but I liked it. It was good. It had like a cool, interesting concept. Definitely different. Same realm as the other songs, but a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's let's listen to For Us. That's the last track on this album. You went from my home to It was nice to know you when it breaks my heart Then we gave it up and shut I'm waiting to see what the production's gonna do. I just, I was not expecting this. Was gonna wait the way it, it it clicked and then it like to him oh my god my brain feels like it just like exploded a little bit why did my heart like start racing like I was like oh my god cannot function cannot breathe been ending with more piano for the album I just feel like a little bit shell-shocked from that 
that switch up in the middle. Like, I, I wondered at the beginning when they played, like, the original track, the You're in California and I'm still waiting on you. I was like, oh, like, they're going to open with this intro and then somewhere in the middle he'll probably take it or they'll, or they'll just keep it, like, as is and it'll play as, like, a different track. So when it started to play in the middle and it was, like, kind of the same... My brain was like, oh, okay. They just decided to keep it as is, and then he'll sing back to it again. But when it had that switch up, oh my god, my brain felt like it exploded. Like, I was not functioning for, like, at least 10 seconds there. But yeah, that's the entire album. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I'm gonna leave on the screen, like, my, my thoughts, my favorite to my least favorite. I would say that I could pretty confidently say that um, Love Me Again and For Us are definitely my top two. I would definitely have to listen to For Us a little bit more to decide if it's above Love Me Again for me. But those are definitely my top two. I think the other three kind of like tie a little bit. It's hard to tell which one I prefer more um, at the moment because they're all kind of not the type of music that I like reach for. However, overall as an album, I like highly approve of this album <laughs> like I feel like it's very V it's very much so like kind of what I expected I actually really liked rainy days as the opener of the album and then for us for the closer I feel like ending and starting with this like piano jazzy vibe was really cool and I feel like as a whole I just really like this album for V like I feel like it it I wish it was longer maybe or it had a couple more tracks but at the same time it feels very complete another members album that was a little bit shorter I kind of felt like it was missing a track or two like it, it felt like something was missing whereas this one feels like very whole to me for some reason and I can't explain why because it's only five tracks still but it feels very whole which is an interesting difference between his album and another member's album who's also very short so very intriguing I'm definitely gonna listen to it some more sometimes I'm I'm very much so the type of person that's like a grower type of person like things grow on me and then I love them so that is all I have for you guys today I will be reacting to the music videos that I haven't reacted to from me yet very soon so be prepared but that is all I have for today bye guys